Hey, what's going on, guys? Come back with a video here. Uh, it's been a while since I did one. <clears throat> I've been uh, sick for the last couple of weeks. I haven't really felt like doing much, but uh, <clears throat> finally getting uh, my voice back and uh, getting a little better. So I guess I'll do kind of like a what I picked up and what I've been playing video. And I picked up a new 3DS. I like it a lot. <clears throat> been playing. Uh, Fire Emblem, New Awakening mostly. Um, Trying to get used to, to C stick. I forget to stare half the time, to be honest with you. So, so I picked up a new 3DS and I picked up a set of headphones. Um, just because I like to kind of play it, listen to headphones when I play my 3DS. They're Skull Candy. They're like 50 bucks on sale, so sound pretty damn good too. I didn't feel like paying, um, you know, a hundred bucks for a set. <clears throat> They're not wireless, you know. I didn't feel like um, having another charger for something else laying around, so I went with those. And I get to what I've been playing. Mainly, my go-to game of the last probably uh, week or two has been uh, Bloodborne, which is uh, kind of rare because of I did buy a. Uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. And I just never never really could get into them. Something about the game just didn't grab me. Um, I didn't have a problem with the difficulty, but it was just something about the game I just could not get into. But this game, for some reason, really grabbed me. Um, I kind of gravitated toward it, towards it. I like it a lot. Um, it is brutal, but it's kind of fun going back and uh, trying to find ways around uh, certain parts of the city. <clears throat> I mean, if you find yourself, um, you know, in a part of the city where you're just overwhelmed, you're not, you know, you're not doing very well, more than likely you're missing something. There's a secret path or something for you to go around and um, maybe come back later and deal with it. But uh, it's, uh, it's a really great game. Uh, combat's, uh, you know, pretty punishing. You really got to know what you're doing. Um, if you think you're going to go through and... Uh, Blindly uh, butt mash your way through with a hack and slash. Just start hitting triggers and shit and hope for the best. You're 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 not going to fare very well. So, I mean that's pretty much known. And the combos you uh, kind of come out on your own and uh, you got to deal with the certain enemies. Certain ways, not everything works. Uh, on, not everything works on the enemies. When I say everything, I mean uh, your your swords, uh, the different type of attacks. You have, you, have, you have to attack some of the enemies faster than the others. Some you just have to take down with a charge attack and time it perfect to where you just get it right in there right before they attack. Some you got to whittle down by, uh, you know, regular attacks, stuff like that. And you can level up. There's still a lot about the game I don't know. I got a lot of items and stuff. I have, like, uh, really no idea what they do. <clears throat> but they just did release a uh, strat guide for the game. I think this week. I ordered it off Amazon, so it should be coming here soon. You know, at least tell me what these things do that I have in my inventory right now, so hopefully that can help. But yeah, I'm really, really loving the game. It is, uh, like I said, brutal. The boss battles, I've done co-op for all of them. I'm not going to sit there and um, try to do the boss battles on my own. I probably could, but uh, maybe later on, uh, when I beat the game, I could come back and... Uh, Maybe feel a little more um, confident. I could take them on myself, but otherwise, I'll be there all day, or I'll never get past the first boss. <clears throat> so I just recruit a couple guys that come and help me out, take the boss out, and I just keep moving on. Which is really, really nice to do that. Um, but uh, other than the boss fights, I'm doing uh, solo. I don't, you know, I don't really want anyone helping me uh, to get there. So, but Bloodborne, how do you recommend it? Um, if you didn't get into uh, the first three, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1 and 2, maybe give this a try. Uh, something about the environment I really like too. Uh, the old Victorian type of uh, European town. I think it's supposed to be London or something. Very, very creepy cr uh, creatures in this game. I mean, and the sounds they make are just really, really uh, kind of make your skin crawl. 
I actually had my headphones on when I was playing this. So I was just like, ah. There's this giant rat in the sewer. Oh, man, it just looks, uh, it's just creepy looking, man, because, uh, I mean, they're a bitch to take down, but, uh, I, uh, ran from them. I got up on a ledge. I was looking down at it. It's just, uh, very, very disturbing looking creatures. You know, whoever, uh, designed, the creature designed this game, um, man, you, you need to seek help or something, dude. You got problems, because, uh, the shit you came up with is a little disturbing, in my opinion. And then the sounds they make on top of that are creepy as hell, so... You know, you go into a certain uh, part of the town, you start hearing those sounds like, oh man, not those things again. But yeah, Bloodborne, highly recommend it. The other game I've been paying a lot of attention to is Devil May Cry, uh, Definitive Edition. Just like Bloodborne, this is another game where the previous entries in the series I own, but I just could not get into them. But there's something about this game I really, really like. The story... The story actually makes sense. It's easy to follow. It's not complicated. A bunch of... Uh, Unnecessary shit, in my opinion. The boss battles are just outstanding. Really, uh, really creepy and uh, ugly. Uh, the voice acting in this game is top notch. The voice acting and uh, animations are just like really, really believable. That's the first thing that really struck me is um, just how well done the characters are. Uh, I'll stop opening and closing the case. I know everyone does that do videos. They just sit there and do this like the whole time they're talking and I am guilty of it so I'm trying not to do it I'll see other guys doing the videos but anyway um but yeah it's a very very uh, very good game I think it's like 40 bucks now looks incredible uh, I didn't like I said I've never played any other Devil May Cry games uh, I think I put them in the PS2 when they came out and played like maybe 15 minutes of them I just could not get into them but uh, that's probably because I just didn't understand the story so, in the combat, in this game, they do a better job explaining both to where you make sure you want to explore and, uh, you know, figure out what you're doing. So, that's it, guys. That's a quick video. Uh, I got some other stuff I want to do. I got some new editing software. I got a Final Cut Pro 10, so I can do some really cool stuff with it. And uh, I can uh, post some uh, videos of uh, some games instead of just talking about them. But uh, that's it, guys. Uh, I gotta go back and uh, list some stuff on my store. I got some pretty good stuff for sale in my store. I'll, maybe I'll put a link. Um, if you see something you like, you know, just PM me. If you're if you're a sub, I'll you know, hook you up. I'll give you a break. You know, I'll give you some money off or something. <clears throat> but I'm always adding stuff. Pretty good stuff. I don't you know I don't sell crap. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, I'm gonna take off and. Uh, Get some work done and uh, take care. I got any questions? Uh, feel free. Later.